What's up guys, welcome back to my channel and you already know what I'm getting ready to show you how to make. You've seen the previous clip, so I'm going to run down everything that you're going to need to make these beautiful sweet potato pies just like I did. Okay, so we have our 9 inch pie crust, they're actually deep dish. I got some eggs, granulated sugar, brown sugar. Now I have saran wrap over this because you know when air hits brown sugar it tends to, you know, stiffen up and we don't want that. I need it to be as moist as possible so it can be used properly in this dish. And I got a little bit of flour, all-purpose flour. I have four sweet potatoes, butter, evaporated milk, ginger, cinnamon, vanilla, and of course, some nutmeg. All right, guys, so without further ado, let's get into this video. We're going to start out by roasting our potatoes. Now, let me give you the reason why I roast them instead of boil them. I like to roast them which means really bake them because it retains the natural sugars and it doesn't lose its color and it's better in your dishes. I don't like to boil my potatoes because when you do, they get a little soggy and it, it absorbs all of the water that it's boiling in and it has a light pale color and we don't want that. It's a little mushy if you ever notice that. So I highly recommend roasting your potatoes. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so we're gonna start off with our potatoes as I mentioned. Now, what I'm going to do with these is just take them and poke a few holes with a fork. Doesn't have to be anything fancy, just to make sure that that heat gets absorbed in this and we have a better cooking time and also to make sure that they cook evenly. And I already cleaned these uh, prior to the video. So there you have it guys, and now I'm gonna take these and wrap them in some aluminum foil. Then we're gonna place them in the oven on 350 degrees for about an hour and a half to make sure that these are completely done. I like to bake mine in foil because it retains the moisture and it doesn't get that burnt look on the bottom. You'll see when they're done. So I'm gonna pop these in the oven now, and I'll be back when it's time to put everything together after these are cooled. Okay, so here's our potatoes, our sweet potatoes that we roasted. I just wanna show you guys how great these look. You see, normally when you roast them without foil, they usually be really dark on the bottom and burnt looking. And also another thing is that when you roast your sweet potatoes, it has less stringy matter in the sweet potato, so when you make your mix, you won't have much strings on your blender paddle. Okay, so let's get these open and scoop everything out and put them into the blender. So this part here is pretty simple. Just wanna slice it down the middle and grab yourself a spoon and just scoop it on out. See that? You can actually just peel the skin off and it'll come off easy just like that. See? All right. Okay, guys, I'm going to do the last two off camera so I don't have to hold you here and bore you. And I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I managed to get all of the sweet potatoes out of their skins. So I have everything set up over here. So I'm going to mix this to puree it to make sure that we don't have any strings in it. And guys, just to let you know, you want to do this on a high speed to make sure that you get every last string that is in there out. You also want to scrape down the bowl to make sure that you're getting everything.
Okay guys, so let me show you the benefits of roasting your potatoes. You see how there's little to no strings on there? And the puree is very smooth. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of whatever strings that are on here and I'll be right back. All right guys, so for me, first things first is that I'm gonna be adding my butter, my one stick of melted butter to our sweet potatoes. Okay, we're gonna mix that in. I'm gonna add our condensed milk in. And guys, just to let you know, I'm adding the eggs in last because I wanna be able to taste our mix before it's completed. You know it's not good to eat raw eggs. So now I'm gonna mix this on low to make sure that it's well combined. Okay guys, so I added in the brown sugar and the white sugar. So now I'm gonna mix that up. Okay, let's add our vanilla. All right, let's go on with our cinnamon and our nutmeg and our ground ginger. Now we're gonna mix this in. Okay, this looks good to me. It's nice and smooth. Okay, so I'm going to give this a taste to make sure it's sweet enough. And it has the right amount of spices. Mmm, that is perfect. Okay, so everything looks good and so does the consistency. Let's add our eggs. Let's scrape down the sides. Make sure everything is in there. Okay, let's add our flour now. Went ahead. Guys, so I went ahead and put our pie filling inside of the crust and I'm gonna place these in the oven now on 350 degrees for 45 to 50 minutes. Guys, so our pies are done. They're looking good to me. So now I'm just gonna let them cool off completely before we're able to cut into them. All right, y'all, so we are back and guess what? It's time to taste the pie. All right, so I'm gonna cut me a slice out and we're gonna see how we did. All right, guys, so here's the best part of the video. So I just put a little dollop of whipped cream on it and a dusting of cinnamon. Isn't that pretty, y'all? Okay, so let's see how we did. First bite goes to you. Now me. Mmm. Wow. That is definitely a winner. It has the right amount of sugar, the right amount of cinnamon, nutmeg ginger guys i definitely recommend this recipe and the crust is flaky it's perfectly cooked and the consistency of the sweet potato is nice and smooth and creamy and is packed with flavor guys i recommend that you definitely give this recipe a try bring it to your next gathering or just simply make it for your home you won't be disappointed so with all that being said guys thank you for watching Definitely make sure that you subscribe to this channel, like this video, share, and definitely comment below. See you in the next video.